working with inverse kinematics can greatly increase your productivity. It can make animating much easier because you can just animate a few items and they can control other items. Now, they're, it's not limited to character animation. You can use it for some really interesting mechanical rigs. Um, you can use it for pistons and things like that. But we're going to... Um, we're going to investigate IK uh, on this character because IK is used a lot with uh, character rigs and character animation. Um, the way that I like to describe the difference between IK, well, inverse kinematics, which we'll refer to as IK, and forward kinematics, which is FK, would be the difference between working with a stop motion rig where you have to move each item, each bone, uh, and pose each bone into place versus like a marionette puppet where you just have to um, pull a couple strings and the, the legs would bend and things like that. So what we'll do is we'll set up inverse kinematics on the legs here, which is a, a common uh, common thing to do for a character rig, and take a look at, at how that works. So for starters, we're going to need an IK goal, an inverse kinematics goal, and it doesn't have to be a null object, but usually uh, we use null objects. So I'm going to come over to items, add null, and I'm going to call this LT for left goal. Okay, now if I planned on using um, inverse kinematics or IK for the arms, I'd probably be better to say left leg goal. Okay, and I'm going to copy that and hit OK. And I'm going to plan to move this into place, but I'm going to go ahead and make another null and call this RT for right. That's why I copied that. It's just easier. I'm, I'm a lazy typer and that was much easier. So click OK. I'm going to go over to the left leg goal and I need to get it into place. I want it right at the ankle and one thing that can be can make it easy to do is if I snap it to the location of, of this ankle. So one way that I can go about doing that is to turn parent and place off, hit M for motion options, and for parent, I'm going to choose that little ankle bone and see how it snaps right to it. Okay. And now that I have it there and I've got auto key on, it's keyframed it there, I can turn parent and place back on M for motion options and I'll just say none. So it's it's where it needs to be. You do not want it parented to the chain. Your um, IK won't won't work properly. Okay. I'm going to go over to the right null, right leg null, uh, with parents in place off. I'm going to parent it to the other ankle. Okay. It snaps into place. Turn parents in place on and Take, take it so that there's no parent for that item. So now I've got both of my goals where I need them to be. Okay. Now all I have to do is set up my inverse kinematics and I'm set. So I'm going to uh, start, let's just start with um, the left leg. And for the hip bone, I'm going to hit M for motion options. And for the hip bone, I don't want the inverse kinematics chain, I don't want the IK chain to, to to carry up into the body. So I'm going to have unaffected by IK of descendants. Okay? So it stops there. The IK is going to stop there. For this um, thigh bone, now one thing that I'm noticing on the thigh is that I've got uh, gimbal lock. And gimbal lock is when you have two axis, uh, two axis handles that are um, kind of in the same place, which means I'm kind of limiting uh, my rotation because now my bank and my heading are going to do the exact same thing. So what I'm going to do is come over to the setup tab, uh, modify orientation, and I'm going to record pivot rotation. Now, um, IK was disabled for this bone, um, but we can get that back. But notice that my handles are now correct. Okay, I don't have gimbal lock. While we're at it, I'm going to go ahead and do it to, to this bone as well. Uh, because it's going to be the same setup. So record pivot rotation. Now we're set. I'm going to go and turn bones back on, bones on, and I'm going to enable IK. Just know anytime you use one of the bone tools, it's going to disable IK. And then when you go to test it, it's not going to work. And you might think that something went wrong when really we've just disabled uh, IK by using one of those tools. Okay, so let's go back to the, the thigh bone. And under controllers and limits, 
for heading, I'm going to change it to inverse kinematics. And for pitch, I'm going to change it to inverse kinematics. I'm not going to do it in bank. You can. I find that it's better to limit inverse kinematics to uh, two channels instead of all three. Um, and so I'm just going to use heading and pitch. I'm going to move down to the to the lower leg bone, which is controlling the, the knee bend. And th your knee is a hinge. So we don't need inverse kinematics or IK on more than, than one channel. We just need it on pitch. So for pitch, I'm going to set that to, to inverse kinematics to IK. I'm going to move back down to the little ankle bone, move back over to IK and modifiers tab. And let's use the goal, the left leg goal, and we'll have full time IK on. Okay. So We've, we've set that up. We can test it real fast. I'm going to grab the goal and I'm going to move it up. And notice, just by moving that goal, the leg is bending. Okay. Let's go ahead and set up the other bone. Okay. So I'm going to undo. Come over to the hip bone. M for motion options. Unaffected by IK of descendants because I don't want it to carry up through the chain. I'm going to go to the thigh bone and let's and we've already um, fixed the the gimbal lock problem, the rotation problem. So I can just use IK, IK, go down to the lower leg, and for pitch IK, go down to the ankle bone, use the right leg goal full time IK, and we can test this out. I'll move over to frame 10. Uh, the arms moving from the the last video, but I'm going to move this up. And I can see that it's uh, working. Now, the hip bones, if I go to M for motion options, they're parented to the center of gravity or the, the main bone. So these two bones are going to move when this moves, which allows me to hit T for move, move it down, and it's going to bend at the knees. So just by moving one bone, I'm able to animate the legs. So as you can see, it can move pretty fast. Now, the, just to see a quick uh, example of the difference between IK and FK is that if I wanted to lower this arm, I would need to grab this bone, lower this. So that lowers everything because of the bones. But then if I wanted to pose it into place, I would need to rotate this, okay, and then maybe rotate this. But with inverse kinematics, I can just raise this up, move it around. Okay, it's snapping right there. That's because of the, the preferred angle. I was going and trying to bend it in a way that it, it didn't like, like that. Okay, and we can set limits and things like that. But I usually don't like setting limits, and I like being uh, the artist that is that sees that I'm doing something that uh, shouldn't work, and then I just don't do it. But if you wanted to set limits, we could go over to uh, the M for motion options and you can set limits here. Okay. So also if you um, do a little bit of pre-bending on the bones, if we were to angle the bones a little bit before the inverse kinematics, we could, um, we could tell it what the preferred angle is and fix it that way. Okay. But this is just a quick look at uh, IK, inverse kinematics. It's uh, really easy to set up and it makes animation so much easier. If you wanted to do a walk cycle with the legs, you would just need to animate the, um, the goals and, uh, and you wouldn't have to animate anything else in the, the leg. Now you'd want to animate the feet, but you can set up IK in the feet. Uh, you can also, um, uh, you do also have to animate like the hips and the arms and everything, but for the legs, you just have to animate the, the goal objects and you'd be set for um, animating that. So it's a little bit more like a marionette puppet, whereas the arms are a little bit more like stop motion. So that's just a quick look at um, setting up and using inverse kinematics. And uh, remember that it's, you're not limited to using IK on characters. You can use it for all, all sorts of, of rigs.